everything is getting better and better. Everything is getting better and better. Everything is getting better and better. I know that there are a lot of phrases, questions, statements that run around social media. And I agree with some of them and some of them I don't. One of my favorites is everything is getting better and better because that says chaos is getting better. It says if things are good, it's getting even better than good. It's going to become great. And if it becomes great, it's going to become even greater. So when you pick a single phrase to try to talk about, just pick a simple one. Everything gets better and better. And I will explain why something as simple as this works and give you an idea of how I used it in my own life. This is Susie, your beautiful swan queen. Welcome back to the garden of my beautiful duckling. Thank you for subscribing, smashing the like button, sharing my video. I love you. I am the best life coach with a 99.6% success rate in helping people get together with the love of their life. When you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, joining my paid Facebook group where it is the only place I go live, upscaling your money, buying t-shirts from my daughter and her bestie, those links are in the description below. I've also added some subliminals where you can just plug it in and let me do the work for you. As long as you're saying, I'm listening to this and it's working, any subliminal will work for you. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so much. It is the third week in January and most people have already given up on their New Year's resolutions. I've had a tragedy happened in my life that I'm still overcoming. And I used this phrase actually with my kids. My relationship with my kids is getting better and better every day. And I would even tell my kids when I was on the phone with them, I am so glad that our relationship is getting better and better every day. I'm so thankful that our relationship is getting better and better every day. So we take everything is getting better and better to thank you. Everything is getting better and better. Why is everything getting better and better? When we take a simple phrase and we repeat that phrase, and I know I did that, <clears throat> excuse me, everything is working out quickly, easily, effortlessly in the most fun and adventurous way when I started my channel. I told you guys that you needed to say that. I dropped adventure personally because it was costing me running in the middle of the night to go help somebody out. And that's not adventure that I wanted. So I went to everything is always working out for me quickly, easily, effortlessly in a fun way. So that I stopped the, you know, somebody called and I had to go pick them up in the middle of the night. Somebody went to the hospital and I had to run in the middle of the night. Stuff that was going on in my life. Because we take a word and we associate it with what's going on in our life. So I have the picture, I have the pictures, love you. And in the corner has always been the word more. I sit across from the word more at my desk over here, because I turned my dining room into my desk and with Chance getting bigger, I was using the dining room table that we never eat at as my desk. So I got a desk and I redid my whole dining area and I set it up as a desk. But when you're sitting at your desk and I'm looking this way, I see my patio door. I see the word more. And then at Christmas time, I saw trees. I saw my Christmas tree and the word more. So now I need more Christmas trees. Words bring things into our reality. So if I need more Christmas trees, I have a 750 foot square foot uh, apartment. It's on the third floor, so it is the penthouse. It is the corner with the best view, so it is definitely the penthouse. And in my apartment, I wound up with 13 Christmas trees. I needed more. When you start seeing a word over and over again, a single word over and over and over again, that word becomes a huge part of your life. So for example, I was saying love you more and I was saying love you more all the time. 
Savannah would say, I love you. And I'd say, I love you more. Ophelia would say, I love you. And I'd say, I love you more. My other kids would say, I love you. And I'd say, I love you more. So I was repeating my sign, but sitting across from one word or one phrase, because we all love to have these signs in our house. Savannah has a sign that says, today, I think I'll just choose to be happy. So you're starting your day by choosing to be happy. I have a sign over there that says, love never melts. I have another sign that says, start each day with a heart full of love. So love never melts. So the people I love will always have my love. I start every day with love, but then I need more love. I need more trees. I need more snowmen. I need more lights. I need more decorations. I need more of everything in my life and more because there was no word after it meant more wins and also more losses. <coughs> so when you start using a better phrase, everything is getting better and better. Everything is getting better and better. Everything is getting better and better. The relationships you have at your job is getting better and better. The relationship you have with your boss is getting better and better. If you are coaching, the relationship with your coach is getting better and better. The things that you are implementing from your coach is causing your life to get better and better. The things that you are doing with your best friend, your other friends, that's getting better and better. Your relationships with family are getting better and better. Oh, here's a good one. Money's getting better and better. Opportunities are getting better and better. So the more you say a simple default phrase, everything is working out for me, everything is working in my favor. Because let's talk about how things work out for you. So you have been toying with the idea of moving, getting a new car, changing jobs, and you're saying everything works out for me, you get fired. You weren't ready to leave this job because you didn't have the new job yet. But the universe took you out of this one, so you had no choice but to go in this one. So we want to make sure that our statements are always implying that things are getting better in a good way. So if you need to start with everything is getting better and better in the most amazing ways, everything is getting better and better and I am loving my life more and more every day, then add that little bit to the end of it. My ex started this when I was a teenager. I've known him my entire life. And when I was a teenager, he would tell me, you always get what you want. You always get what you want. You always get what you want. And a lot of times it was said in a derogatory way. Well, guess what? I always get what I want. And sometimes I get it quickly. Sometimes I get it easily. Sometimes it shows up in a fun way. But a lot of times chaos removes things so other things can be replaced quickly so that you get it. Well, I didn't want more chaos in my life. So I'm going to liken this to this. <coughs> so sorry. You get a new bed set. You have to take the old bed set off the bed to put the new bed set on. So your manifestation is the bed set, getting the new bed set. The new bed set represents money, specific person, job, car, house, uh, opportunities, growth, whatever you're manifesting. The bed set, this brand new bed set represents you got your manifestation. So now you come home with your bed set. You go put it in your bedroom. Then you come into the kitchen so you can make dinner. You can get something to drink. You eat dinner. Somebody calls you, you get on the phone with them, you talk to them for a while, you're done talking to them, you go clean up the kitchen, you come out of the kitchen, you sit down, and now you're responding to a text from somebody. So while you're texting this person, you turn on the TV, and you turn on the TV, and you start watching Netflix, and you're watching Susie's favorite show, Lucifer. And Lucifer is bumbling his way through getting whatever thing he wants solved in this episode. And he does everything wrong. All right, so you watch a couple of episodes of that. Netflix says, are you still watching? 
because Netflix does that. I do like the one that says continue without asking again. So there's three options. Are you still watching? Continue without asking again and to exit because you're no longer watching. So you decide, okay, I've had enough. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm tired. So you shut Netflix off and you go and you start locking up the house. So you take your glass of drink to the kitchen and you put it in the dishwasher. You check the doors. You make sure everything's locked up. You go in the bathroom. You brush your teeth. You do your wash off your makeup if you're a woman. If you're a guy, you might, you know, jump in the shower real quick. And you finish your nightly routine and you walk into the bedroom. And your brand new bed set is sitting on your bed. Do you set that bed set on the floor and go, I'll get to it tomorrow? Or do you set that bed set down and strip the bed and make it now? That is removing something so you got something. But now if this bed set showed up in a good way, in a fun way, you would have come home from work, you would have been really thrilled and excited because Amazon delivered your brand new bed set. So you went into the bedroom and you stripped your bed and you made the new bed with all of your new bedding. And you, it's absolutely beautiful. And then you went about the rest of your evening. So now at the end of the night, you come out of the bathroom after you're done with your nightly routine and you see your bed and you are just so happy. So feeling so a good that you pull back the covers and you slide into bed with this big smile on your face and you just feel like, wow, life is working in my favor. Well, that's what everything is getting better and better is. If it showed up at the door three days early, that would be better. If it showed up at the door a month early, because I ordered a bed set from Amazon and it didn't show up for like a month. And then I ordered another bed set and it said it was going to be a month and I got it a week later. So that would be exciting. So when you are saying everything is getting better and better, you're not walking around going, oh, life is getting better because the lights were green. Life is getting better because I got a nice seat in the lunchroom at work so I can look out the window. Life is getting, everything's getting better because my calls at work were pleasant today. Nobody yelled at me. Everything's getting better because I got home and the house was clean. Everything is getting better because we're not walking around doing that. We're literally just walking around saying one phrase. Everything is getting better and better. And when you start doing that, you will tell your boss, I'm so glad that our relationship is getting better and better. And you will let it go. And then you're talking to your best friend and she has changed her mind on something in your life that she doesn't like. And you're like, I am so glad that our relationship has gotten even better and better. Like we're in this for life. You're my ride and die and we're going to let it go. So when we were asleep, we would tell people, thank you for. So my best friend doesn't approve of my current date or the person I'm dating She's going to, uh, all of a sudden she approves and you're going to be like, thank you so much for approving. That means a lot to me. You are my best friend. You are my ride and die. And I can't do life without you. And I really do love this person. So thank you. Thank you for jumping on the same page as me. And that's what we're going to say. When our boss praises us, we're going to say, thank you so much for that praise. I worked hard on that. We're going to put things out there but this isn't the lucky girl syndrome this isn't everything is working out for me because you're not having to go oh i went through all the green lights on the way to work and everything's working out for me honestly there were some days when i drove to the call center or i went to walmart when i was working nine to five that i didn't want those lights to be green so the fact that those lights were green and i got to work faster than i wanted to it was a lose-lose situation. And I would be like, oh my gosh, I wish it would have taken longer to get here. Like I would leave Friday night in rush hour traffic, go down the busiest street to go from my town to the next town over to go to the Walmart I was working at and all the lights would be green and I'd be there in less than 10 minutes. <coughs> but my phone said traffic was heavy and it was going to take 30 minutes. Didn't work. 
So that didn't work in my favor. I wanted to be stuck in traffic. So if it was work, if that didn't, everything going my way, that didn't go my way, I should say. It didn't go my way because I wanted the lights to be red. Now, if you were saying everything works in my favor, the lights would have been red. And you would have been like, yes. A few more minutes before I have to clock in. I am so grateful that the light is red. Everything working out for you is better than everything's always going my way quickly, easily, and effortlessly. Now, let's try this. My life is getting more and more fun. There's more and more fun being brought into my life. Because we're talking about this year, we need to have fun. So, the beginning of the year, um, I'm getting over being sick. I lost a family member and now I am in this state of life is short and I want to enjoy it. So in order to bridge happiness to absolutely say, I am so happy in my life. I love my life. We need to start with something a little bit different. So what does Susie do? She goes on Google and she types in the word happy and asks Google, what's another word for happy? And she plays with these words to see. So did you know there are fancy words for happy? I didn't, Google did though. What is the definition of happiness? The definition of happiness is accepting things for the way they are and not idealizing them for something else. So then technically I am happy, but I don't feel bubbly. I don't feel joyful. I don't feel pleasure. So I have to find a better word, a better phrase, so I can move forward in my journey for life getting better and better every day. And when you Google words, find out what word feels good to you. Because all life is when we were sleeping is about feeling good and having fun. Growing up in the 80s, Life was amazing. It was the decade of excess. Music was wonderful. People were in a good mood. You'd go shopping and we'd say hi to everybody because life was good. And it just kept getting better and better throughout the 80s. Well, then all of a sudden, we have company. Come say hello, mister. Say, this is baby Chance. He's gotten big. And look how big Ophelia. Well, I got unexpected company, so I'm going to end my video here. I love you guys. Have a and as always, leave me, Chance, and Ophelia a comment and let me know how we are drastically changing your life for the better. Mama. Mama left? She had to go to work. She had to go to work? Okay. We love you guys. Have a great day.